Um, we've done something I, which I think is really fun at the bottom of the page. We call it the social media wall. We've added our Facebook, our Twitter feeds, as well as a feed from lookbook.new. Do, you, do any of you know this site? Yeah, great. It's a, it's a style site where people can upload pictures of themselves, and we think they do a really fantastic job. And if people label themselves or tag their picture with H&M on lookbook.new, then they'll get featured on our YouTube social media wall as well as on our mobile site. And, you know, I, I may be stealing this from someone, but Andy Warhol said everyone in the future would have 15 minutes of fame. I really think it's 15 seconds now. And everybody's just looking to be involved in, in some way. Um, I, I wanted to take this opportunity to actually talk about viral videos. I know there will always be agencies who will tell you, come to us, we'll create a viral video for you, and we know the secret. Um, I, I'd be a little leery of that. Uh, the, uh, we uh, attempted to create viral video in 2010 for uh, Fashion Against AIDS, and, uh, which is a campaign we do every year in, in cooperation with Designers Against AIDS. And um, we thought it would be great to create this really funny video. It was funny and it was short. It was like only 15 seconds long. It had all the elements that everyone said it would. And it got like three, four, five thousand 5,000 views. While they were filming that, the videographer decided it would be fun to take a condom, since it was all about fashion against AIDS. And he filled it with water as a water balloon. And he started throwing it at people and videotaping it. And of course, the condom didn't break, and it would just sort of migrate across people's faces. <laughs> and he took it home and uh, put the video in slow motion and added music. And we had like 500,000 views of that. <laughs> In, in about a day, so it, it, it's, it's crazy. So we, we did learn from that, and when uh, we announced the Lanvin collection last fall, instead of doing a traditional press release before we announced who the designer was, we led up to the announcement with a series of videos, which we hoped would go viral, which were um, hinting at who the designer would be. And over the course of five days before the press release, we had several hundred thousand views of those videos. And um, overall, on YouTube, we've had 7 million video views to date. So we're really happy with the page. We know there's more we can do with it, but we're happy.